foe's too tough, you can always run away and live to fight another day. <laughs> no such thing is too tough for me. Perhaps not, but I'm telling you just in case that turns out not to be true. Here we go. turn out to be useful later. Under the sand, Prince. He could surface anywhere. No, I know. Sandland sure has a lot of different creatures, including some dangerous ones I'd like to avoid. Plenty are harmless, though, just doing their best to survive in this harsh land like us. Humans may be weak, but they sure are persistent.
I traveled around to all sorts of places in my youth, but there's still so- We can use this to find out about the area. If we can get it fixed up, that is. We can repair it. Just need materials. <laughs> We can repair it, just need materials. old man doing all this to find water for other people i'm not that noble only death awaits us if we don't help each other <laughs> huh. i guess Not a good idea to try to fight that thing barehanded. Uh oh, keep your distance.
find out about the area. If we can get it fixed up, that is. We can repair it. Just need materials. So like... Why do we need water to live? That's because the human body is composed of roughly 60% water. Interesting. Hey, see, what about demons? That depends on the species. Slime's body is nearly 100% water, for instance. That's a huge crocodile! He looks tougher than most crocs I've seen. It's not a good idea. I think there's a cave or something in there. What's that? Wait! 